Hey you guys, this is Mr. Sal. Thanks for watching. If the video helps you, hit that like button and subscribe, please. It would really help me out, but you do what you're going to do, all right? So, in any case, I hope this helps my students, even if it doesn't help you. So, uh, if it doesn't, I'm sorry. I do have other videos which may be helpful, but again, it's up to you. So, let's go and look at this one. In this problem, this form is already in the form of x minus h squared plus k. So that makes it very easy to, to identify h, which in this case is 6, and k, which is 1, which means our vertex, which in this form is h, k, and then I can replace my h and k with their respective values, which would be 6, 1. So that's one of our answers right there. The next thing we should write is our axis of symmetry and that is always an x equal because we're looking at parabolas and uh, that's going to go vertically through this point where x is 6 specifically. So that's all we're doing to find the axis of symmetry is looking at the x value in the vertex. Next up I would create a table to solve for some values to graph on the graph. And I have x and f of x. And you can see on the graph there, I already put the 6, 1 in there. And even though the coefficient of that binomial squared is a positive, I know it's going to open upwards. That just may or may not help you. I am going to go ahead and draw the axis of symmetry in there, though. And we can see I've gone ahead and drawn that in blue. So all we need to do is find points on one side of this thing and then it's just going to mirror itself on the other side. And since we have a high number six, I'm going to go down to the left and then mirror everything on the right of that. So I'm just going to try these values out and see what I get. So if x is five, I've got five minus six, which is negative one squared would be one. One plus one is two. So that gives me the 0.52, which would be about right there. And I've gone ahead and found all the other values for you. Uh, notice uh, this bottom value right here, 126, it's too big to fit on this graph. So I'm going to skip it. I'm going to go ahead and put all the other values on. All right, so there are the points. Now I just need to connect them. This is not a linear function, so I just need to make sure it's curved. But once again, that's only half the function, so I do need to get the other points on there. And notice all I've done is I've mirrored those against the axis of symmetry. Now all I need to do is connect them. So that's about what I get right there. So I found my vertex, my axis of symmetry, and I've grabbed this thing. Of course, I guess I should put some arrows on the end of this. Two lines, and that's about how it should look. 